My name is Priska Baumann. I'm a soul freedom coach, I'm an actress and I'm author and I support people by freeing their inner hero or heroine Shiro, so-called Shiro, to become their most authentic and liberated version of themselves. And um, in today's topic I'm, I would love to like talk about a topic that, <laughs> that um, touches my heart very deeply because it's very near to my heart. Um, about body shame because um, I was ashamed of my body since I can think of I really am and I'm not proud to admit that but it's the truth I was pretty much a chubby girl I've been the chubby girl uh, throughout all the school years and as you know children are not that nice if somebody doesn't look like the others um and i i wasn't like an obese girl but i had about like five kilos too much on on the ribs and so the children were like mocking me and as i was the different girl anyways i was the the strange one they they really loved to make fun of me and and this made me really really sad of course but besides that, I have a kyphosis and a scoliosis. And at this time, I didn't know that yet because I just had this strange back. And if you don't know what that means, it's like a bended um, spine. I have like this S in my spine in both sides. And um, and you can see it like it's, um, yeah, it's like the hunchback, like um, what they call me. And um, yes, and before I, I was diagnosed with those things, um, I was always like called to like sit straight and they called me like lazy because I had this, this benched back and, and um, I felt so much shame about my body because it was never enough. It was too fat and my back wasn't right and everything felt so wrong with my body. And I was like um, put in in this corner from the beginning. And when I was in first grade, there I had this um, like gymnastic teacher. I have no idea why she did that, but um, I've tried to do something. I don't remember exactly what it was. And she said like, "You um, oh, I don't know how to say that in English, but like." It's translated something like "You fat child can't that can't that do you can't do that anyways," and um, you're too fat to do that. And I really have to say I wasn't a fat child. I was not a fat child at all. Really not. I was a little bit chubby, but not fat. And there was no reason why I should could not do that today. I see that, but back then it was such a shock that she told me that, and. From then on, I always believed that I couldn't do it. And I hated gymnastic. I, I hated all that had to do with sports. I was, I, I just, I, I played volleyball and do, did some other things, but I've always believed that I, I sucked and I didn't love it at all. I was afraid. I was afraid of sports. Whenever we had sports, I would like freak out and would like, oh, uh, I was really afraid. And I always was the last one to be picked, of course, when we had like to do some kind of stuff. Um, and um, yeah, and there was my back and my back that wasn't normal at all. And yeah, I was called the hunchback and I, there was so much shame about my body. I knew that there was something really major wrong with my body that it didn't fit in in any way. And the only the only place I felt safe and I felt like free was on stage. I know that's very strange, but it's the truth. I felt really, really free on stage because I, ca I had a character I could pull on me. And then I forgot what the, about that body and that I didn't felt comfortable within, within it. And um, so I decided to become an actress, of course. That was my dream since I can think of. And... But during acting school, I had this, um, <laughs> I really developed an, an eating disorder because I wanted to be thin and I knew that all like successful actresses had to be, have to be like thin 
and I weighed it about 47 kilos. I have no idea what's that in pounds. I really don't know, but it's really I was in really low weight back then and and I knew I was too thin and I had no energy at all, but I really wanted to like just fit in and people thought that's beautiful and I never told anybody about my my struggles that I really didn't eat anymore or, and things. And um I was it was a really low point in my in my life. I loved what I was doing in school, but I had to earn so much money to pay the bills for the school, and uh, I was in so much stress. And yeah, and uh, and, and my back, I, I really, I, I just drilled myself to stand so straight. And everybody thought um, I was like a straight girl because <laughs> I was walking like that. And um, and I don't know why, but the the, the director of the school always told people that I I was in ballet and that's because I had like this back I had and I've never been in a ballet class ever okay once I was but just one time and I felt like an elephant in like a room of gazelles or something like that no but he told he kept he kept telling the story and I was always like no I have never been in a ballet class but anyways um so I really could I learned how to handle my back so very well that nobody like recognized it that I had it, and I really made it through this this school without with my back, and nobody could ever believe so because there was when I was diagnosed with this kyphosis and this um, scoliosis, they told me that I could do a surgery, and um, but there was a fifteen percent um, chance to like land in a wheelchair. And so for me, that was no option. And today I'm so glad and so happy. I'm almost pain free. And that's like a miracle. It really is like a miracle. Okay, I do my exercises. Of course I do them. But I, I really, it's, it's incredible. Everybody's like, what? You should, you're supposed to have pain or just be in pain. And I, I, I am not at all. And that's what I'm so grateful for. And um, yes, after this whole eating disorder story, um, my ex-boyfriend really saved my life, I can tell you, because he was the first one who really saw me and he accepted me as I was and, and he really told me that I was beautiful and I, I started to see myself through his eyes. And that's when I recovered from this eating disorder and my body really changed drastically. I almost gained 20 kilos and... I, I would lie if I, I if I said I had no problem with that. It was a big issue and it still sometimes is an issue because it changed so, so very much. And um, I mean, I, I'm not fat now, but it's like I have curves and I have... I've always had cellulite and the cellulite, it, it didn't get any better by gaining weight, of course. And so this like um, body thing is is, a, is is an issue that returns and returns and returns like in waves but it always gets better and better because I know how to handle it and I know now how much how grateful I can be to have this body really to have a healthy beautiful body that like through which I can like um, see the world and experience the world I can touch the people I love I can hug them I mean I can I can walk I can run I can dance I can see this beautiful world through my eyes and that's all because of that body of that that beautiful body temple that does all these incredible things I don't even know how they how how it does it how she she my beautiful body female body does it I mean, she, she like pumps blood through my veins, she like uh, cleans the blood, She my lungs that just breathe, it's incredible, all these things that, that, that um, are going on in my body, I know I'm not even aware of it, I can sleep and it does, it works, she does her work, it's incredible, and I've learned that I have the perfect body who serves me the most in my actual phases of my life right now I have the perfect body that fits my fits my fits my life really and since I've gained weight I'm so much more grounded I'm so much more here I'm so much more in my in my in my body really and I feel so much more rooted and it helps me to help other people as well really 
because I was so like airy and whoosh, when I was that thin, I, I couldn't handle all these energies. Now I can, I can much better. I have, I still have some extra weight on, but it doesn't matter because I, it's okay as it is. And that's such a great thing and such a, an amazing feeling to finally be at home in my body. Even though there are times when I think, la, 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 but I can, I can hear my monkey mind talking. I can, I can see that and I can stop it because I have my free will. I'm sorry, it's getting really dark out there. <laughs> I hope you can still see me. No, but I can, I can stop this chatter who tells me that I'm not enough, that I'm too fat, that my back is ugly or that my cellulite is like disgusting. All this stuff that this voice is telling in me in my head, still up there telling me like, rah, rah, rah. I, can, I can say, hey, shut up right now because this, you are beautiful. And I'm so grateful that you're here with me in this experience. Um, and without this body, I could, couldn't be here at all. And I've, I've chosen this body for some good reason. And my back was such an amazing teacher for me. And I'm so grateful for all she or he or it or whatever told me. And so I, I invite you to do the same, to like just embrace your body in whatever shape it is, whatever it looks like right now at the moment. Everything can change anyways, but it's not about the looks. It's how about, how about you feel inside and how about you love that person, that, that being you are. And um, if you have experienced anything like this, I'm, I'm more than grateful if you like um, comment below this video or if you comment below my Facebook page. I do have a blog, but it's only in German. You can also, of course, like comment there. But if you like, if you like, you can also like here on this video or on Facebook, which is like both of languages, because I know there are so many, especially women out there who struggle with exactly this, this topic. And um, if you've got another question you would like me to discuss or to answer or to talk about, please, please, please email me at soulfreedom at priskabauman.com and I will gladly like share what I have to share. And I'm so grateful that you're here and I really invite you to embrace your beautiful body temple you, you're in and like to just, just celebrate who you are, what you are. And uh, yeah to just take this not for granted because it is a gift it's a present of life it's life's present for us so thank you so much for being here um have a wonderful time all my love to you